In this build video, we're going to be showing you how to configure the fuselage of your tenant, whether it's going to be a trainer, a sport flyer, or something of your own imagination. Now, the fuselage of the tenant is what holds your wing and your tail, and also your electronics like your motor, your receiver, your servos, everything you need to fly. This also can be reconfigured whether you're a beginner or whether you're an advanced model. All the techniques are the exact same. You configure the airplane, you apply your tape, you make it your own. Now this fuselage can be configured in many different ways and our goal in this video is to show you how to basically reconfigure your fuselage and how to reinforce it with tape. Let's go ahead and get our materials in order and we'll get started. The first thing we want to do with configuring our tenant is let's go ahead and pop out all the different pieces we have and then we'll talk about the two main configurations that you guys can do, especially starting out. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick. Kind of go through the pieces we have here. So for our tenant fuselage kit what we have is a bunch of different configurations you can do. Now it can be either a pusher where the motor is behind the wing pushing the plane beat forward or it can be a tractor where the motor is in front of the wing pulling the airplane forward. Just think of a tractor trailer or a semi pulling this cargo through the air. We also have some experimental mounts like this low profile wing mount that's going to give the plane more of a sporty fast agile edge and also this plug here in case you want to just try something totally off the wall. Also back by the tail you'll see that we have our tail mount and these tail mounts here are going to be what you're going to be gluing your tail whether it's the conventional tail, the V-tail or one of your own design. What we're going to be showing you today in this video is how to configure your fuselage in the two most common ways and then most importantly how to reinforce it with tape. Let's go ahead and pick out our first configuration. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the trainer and then we'll get started. So for this first configuration, what we're going to do is we're going to do a primary trainer. And for this, we're going to have the motor in the back pushing it forward. And we're also going to have the smooth nose. The benefit from this is it's going to give you the ability to protect your motor. So if God forbid you do crash, your motor or your prop is not getting damaged. So for that, you're going to see that we have a very specific piece here. This is the round nose. This nose can also be used if you're doing a two channel glider or even coupled with a low profile fuselage. So that way you can have the wing closer down towards the center line. First thing we're going to do is just going to slide this in, line up the grooves, press down, pop it in. Our next piece that we're going to be putting in is going to be our pusher wing mount. Notice that the motor's in the back. Just line up our three grooves here. One, two, three. Once they're all started, nice even pressure. One, two. Sometimes you can even just flip it over and then press from the other side to get it nice and flush. All right, so you can see already we have our main fuselage for the trainer configured here, but we have one very, very important step and that is to reinforce it with tape. This plane by itself is gonna be very brittle. Tape gives it all the strength to be able to take crash after crash after crash and make this plane last a very long time. Now you can use either just clear, simple two inch packing tape, or if you have our Crafty Kit V2, we include some color tape, which is fantastic and you can make it your own. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clear all these pieces out and we're gonna show you how we tape this together to get the most reinforcement. For taping this model, I'm gonna have a little bit of decoration. I wanna do a patriotic theme, so I'm gonna go ahead and do red, white, and blue. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply some tape, starting from the wing, around the nose, and down to the bottom. So for this, I'm just gonna use some clear packing tape. Now one thing that you don't need to do is you don't need to try to do this all in one slice. As I tape around this, I'm just using my nail to make sure we pull that nice and tight against the creases. You don't want this to kind of pop out here, so make sure you get those creases in and then smooth it out. There's the top half. And it helps just to use small manageable pieces, maybe one foot to 16 inches long. If you really want to push it down hard, you can take something like a gift card or the edge of a razor blade and use it like a squeegee and push it right down into the foam. All right, one more piece. I'm just going to go right here. Anytime that you're applying tape where a piece is going to be passing through, make sure you cut that area out so either the tail, the motor mount, or anything else can slide through easily. Now that we have the perimeter on the outside done, 
Let's go ahead and reinforce the inside area where our control module and also our battery is going to be installed. And because this area is going to be getting a lot of wear and tear, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take about a three to four inch chunk. I'm going to pass it right through one side and down the other. I can even wrap it right on the bottom there. Anytime I overlap my tape, I'm going about a quarter inch overlap. Just push it through one side and out the other. Now as you're taping this together, you're going to notice immediately how incredibly strong this fuselage is getting. The EPS foam is fantastic for its squishy nature, but without the tape it becomes very brittle. This tape is going to hold together, so even if you have many different crashes, it's not going to fall apart on you. Now that we have our main battery area and our control module area, this is where we can start decorating. In this case, I think I want to do a red, white, and blue scheme. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a band of red, a band of clear, and a band of blue. And we'll see how it looks. So let's give this a shot here. I'm just going to go down about a quarter of an inch here just so I can wrap that around. That looks really good. And I'm just going to simply take this and trim this about an eighth of an inch from the edge right around. And because I have this tape on the bottom, I can fold it right over on top of itself. It's going to give me a nice protected edge. So for our STEM students out there, this is a great opportunity to put a little bit of art in our STEM making a steam. Also, anytime you add color to your models, not only does it look cooler, but it adds to the visibility that you're going to need when you're flying it through the air. And if you're flying with your friends or your family, it's really easy to be able to tell the planes apart as well. So make this your own. We can always come back later and then trim out our little areas here. So we got our red stripe down. Let's go ahead and put a roll of clear down and that will be our white stripe. There we go. And again, I'm just gonna overlap this about a of an inch or so. Same process as before. It's about an eighth inch outside. Anytime you're doing an inside corner, if it gets a little bit difficult on you, just cut a little bit of groove. There we go. All right, we have red, white. Let's go ahead and get some blue in here. You can really make this as simple or as complicated as you want to make it most important thing is that you tape your plane. That's one side, let's go and do the same process on the other. So we're all done with taping this and technically this is all you really need to do. You just need to go around the outer perimeter and then fill this in whether it's clear tape or color tape. But also you can make this your own with a little extra work to this. All you need is a little extra tape. Take your time, make it your own, make it special. Now also, this wing tape can also be used on the foam, but keep in mind, more tape does mean more weight, and where the tape on this fuselage adds a lot of strength, it's not necessarily gonna help you with the durability or performance of the rest of your airplane. So be strategic about that. At this point, we have our fuselage configured, it's reinforced. We're ready to move on to the next step in our tenant build project. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.